Okay, so in this question, we need to solve the value for x and y. Here you have two equations. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and solve the system of equations using elimination. What does that mean? Well, I need to kill either an x or a y. Well, when you have these two equations like this, just go ahead and figure it out when you add them how you can get rid of either the x or the y. Well, remember, 2x minus 2x is equals to 0. So I see here that if I go ahead and on the second equation I multiply by negative 2, what's going to happen? Well, remember, 2x minus 2x again is equals to 0. So let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I can do whatever I want into an equation as long as I do it to every single term. So let's do it. Negative 2 times x and negative 2 times 6y and negative 2 times 15 every single term. So I get negative 2x minus 2 of y because negative times positive and negative 2 times 15 is negative 30. Awesome. Now, I just rewrote my equation, and look what happens. When I add 2x minus 2x, these guys are going to cancel out, and I'm going to have negative 5y minus 2 of y, that's equals to negative 17y. Negative 4 minus 30, that's negative 34. Awesome. Now that I, hope that I have my y by itself, I divide both sides by negative 17, and what do I get? Negative 34 divided by negative 17 is y equals 2. Don't forget, we need to find the x. I can choose either this equation or these equations to find the x. Since I have y, I can just go ahead and substitute. I'm going to choose this one, the second one, because it's easier. So I do x plus 6 times 2 equals 15. 6 times 2 12. I pass the 12 to the other side. And finally, I get x equals 3. My answer is 3, 2. Be very careful. Remember, alphabetical order. x comes first, y comes second. Because on the test, you will have this. They're going to try to trick you. But you have to be very smart and prove them wrong. Awesome.